welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first Lululemon haul of 2022 and I'm so excited to get into it. I actually didn't do a Lulu haul, at least on YouTube, in December, so it feels like forever since I've recorded a try on. And for those of you who might not follow on Instagram or keep up with my other YouTube videos, I'm now almost 18 weeks pregnant, so this try on and all of the try ons over the next few months until uh, June, well, and really just the rest of the year, are probably gonna look a lot different than they used to, but I'm gonna try to keep them the same in terms of like, I'm gonna just gonna give you my honest opinion and review all the items I can. I'm sure there will be some kind of like pregnancy Lululemon try on or like maternity try on or something like that, but for today, it's gonna be a winter. Lulu haul and we're gonna get right on into it. I have a lot of fun items, ones that a lot of you asked me to review. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Per usual, everything will be listed and linked down below as well as my sizes and all of the items in this try on. I'll have to redo my current measurements, but if you're interested in what like my true size is when, <laughs> when I'm not pregnant, I have that listed in all of my previous try ons as well. Starting off with tops in particular, a sports bra that I had a lot of questions over, the Wonder Train bra, ignore the deodorant stains when I was trying this on. I uh, clearly, it's either lotion or deodorant, one of the two. But I'm a big fan of Lulu's light support bras normally. However, right now I'm a little bit bustier because of the pregnancy. So I figured this was a good time to review some of the higher impact and higher cup like support bras. So this is intended for a C to D cup. I don't know what my true cup size is right now because I just live in sports bras and I particularly live in the Leica cloud bra because it's just so comfortable, not too compressive, but this fit really well. The one thing I will say is because it's meant for more like high intensity cardio training, it's meant to obviously be tighter, more compressive. So the one thing I noticed it did cut in on my lats and that's something I know people either love or hate. They either love the high compression or they're like, nope, I don't want anything cutting in on me. It just makes me feel insecure, which I totally get. That's normally how I am. Um, but right now my body's a little bit different. So I'm just like going with the flow. But if you're just looking for a good cardio bra, a good running bra, this is the Everlux material. So it's their fastest drying material would be great for all high impact workouts. I think the design is really cute, nice and simple, just a nice racer back. And I'm a big fan of the color. So I did stick with my true size six because I think that is still my true size. We will just kind of evaluate that as I go through the next 22 weeks. But overall, I think this would be great for high impact workouts as it's intended to be worn. I personally would not wear this day to day. It's just too compressive. Um, once again, I'm wearing like the polar opposite bras day to day, the like a cloud bra, just because they're the perfect like t-shirt bra. Next item up is not new. This is an item I have reviewed quite a lot. The Align Tank, this is just the regular Align Tank. Now they have the waist length one, which I am interested to see how that will fit me as my belly continues to grow. I feel like that will probably be my go-to, but in general, the Align Tank has always been one of my favorites. They do have a high neck version now, which is really cute. And a lot of you asked to see this color. It is definitely more of like a green gray, but I still think it's super neutral to where you can wear it with anything. But I did try this on with a pair of, not in the video, I tried them on separately for the video, but I did try this on with a pair of olive green aligned pants and I thought it looked really cute. Kind of brings out the green in the top, but once again, super neutral, size six fits great. The only thing is with this, which now I'm starting to see a little bit more if you're bustier, this is a little bit lower cut, so maybe opt for their higher neck, for their high neck align tank if you want a little bit more coverage, but in general, these still fit me really well and size six still fits perfect. It's just a little bit shorter on my torso because my belly's growing. So in one of the later try-ons, as my belly continues to grow, I will try on the waist length version again because when I tried it on, pre-pregnancy, it kind of like bowed out. Like it, my torso was too long for it. It didn't hit at the right spot on my hips, so I didn't love it. Um, definitely preferred this, but I feel like as my belly grows, that might solve the issue of it like flaring out, if that makes sense, but we'll review that down the road. As for this one, 
10 out of 10. I'm still buying all of these because I live in these regardless. They're perfect to pair underneath scubas, which I also live in. You'll see I have two of those coming up. So love a good neutral aligned tank. Next top up is the Base Pace Tank Ribbed. I got this, took it out of the packaging, felt it, and immediately ordered it in black. So I actually have a second one of these already, even though I tried this on, but I wasn't able to wear it yet. This for my fellow pregnant women. I think you're going to love this. As you can see, it's the perfect coverage for your belly when paired with high-waisted leggings. And it was just really comfortable. It's really stretchy, really lightweight and it's just a good basic tank top. There's no built-in bra, which I do normally really like built-in bras, but I'm finding out that uh, my chest is growing kind of at a different rate than everything else. <laughs> so I like being able to pair whatever bra I'm most comfortable in at the time. And currently that's still my free to be wild or just free to be bras and the like a cloud bra just because they're such light support TMI, but your your boobs tend to hurt at least in the beginning part and so like having stuff being super compressive at least for me was not comfortable so all that to say i like the fact that this is just a basic tank top you can put any bra you want underneath it so if you're really busty and you want more support you can do that if you're like me and you like lighter support less compression you can do that as well but i feel like these will be a go-to for me as i keep growing and just in general i think it's a really flattering cut because it has the scoop in the front and back. Once again, super lightweight, super stretchy, and it has that nice, has that nice ribbed material. Next up, we have the all aligned mock neck long sleeve. I was so excited to try this, and so many of you asked me to review this. I thought I knew what to expect just because I, you know, if you've tried any align items, they're basically all pretty similar. This is even, it's different. It's so thin. And I feel like this is the perfect mock neck for layering in the fall, winter, and spring on the colder days. It is meant for more just like casual day-to-day -day because it is still the Nulu material, so it's more delicate. If you were to try to wear this for running, it could pill. But I think just wearing this for going to yoga and you want something like lightweight and thin enough to go underneath your jacket to where it's not gonna feel like too tight, this is perfect and once again just for layering underneath anything it is so thin but that same like really buttery soft material like all of the nulu items so simple and pairs really well with high-waisted leggings so i got a size six i love it once again i have a longer torso and with the current situation i feel like <laughs> a little bit more of my stomach is showing than it would on someone who's not pregnant. So keep that in mind if you saw it on me and you were like, I don't know if I want that much skin showing. The model who has it on on the website, it basically like butted up to the high-waisted leggings. And if you are pregnant, I would just suggest pairing them with these super high-rise leggings because the waistband just comes up higher. So it'll give you that extra coverage. This next item I saw hit the website and immediately purchased it because this has been one of my favorite long sleeves that they've had for a while now before pregnancy. But once again, now being pregnant and liking things a little bit looser, the back in action long sleeve is one of my favorites and they brought it out in the new loom material. So that same really buttery soft material as the mock neck. This is that same like really thin lightweight material as well, like thinner than a lot of the other new loom material or new loom items in my opinion. And I thought this fit really cute, nice and neutral. You could dress this up if you wanted to with a pair of leggings and just some like cute little casual shoes um, because I'm all about comfort right now. And in general, let's be honest, like I always live in stuff like this, but I had to give this a try because once again, love all things Nulu and I love the back in action long sleeve. I think it's just really flattering. It has more of a feminine, I think, more of a feminine fit than just the regular long sleeves they have because the neckline, you can kind of see your collarbones a little bit, which I love. And nice and oversized, but the sleeves are a tight fit. So when you're like reaching for things, the sleeves aren't gonna dangle in food or water or whatever's on the table. I can appreciate that. So size six fit really well. This is something I think will fit pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, post-pregnancy, just because it is so oversized and stretchy. Next item up, I actually think has now been added to the sales section on the website, but they do have two other colors available 
in the full price section, AKA there's probably more of a size selection there because the We Made Too Much section tends to go pretty quick. But the It's Rulu Run Half Zip, this has been one of my favorites. I usually call it something different, but every year they bring out something very similar to this. They're super soft, super stretchy. This is actually a thicker one because it has this pattern on it. So I know they have a pink one just like this with the same pattern. That one's gonna be a little bit thicker too. If you just get the regular black one, it's not gonna be as thick because it's not this like more detailed stitch that's going on. So that made it a little bit thicker. This will be perfect for me currently. I think if I were to be like about to give birth or like late in my third trimester or just in my third trimester in general, because this is thicker, I think it might be a little bit tight on me. So I might need a size eight, but other than that, stuck with my size six, it is supposed to be a tighter fit. So if you're someone who doesn't like slim fit items, I, may, I might not recommend this, but overall, I love these. I thought this color was really cute. The item that so many of you wanted to see and the item that I was so excited about when I saw it on the website, the scuba oversized funnel neck. So I have so many of the scuba oversized half zips. I now have so many of the full zips, but the one thing that people have complained about, people still love them. I literally have them in like every color, but is the fact that as you move in them, they do tend to kind of ride up a little bit. I think because the hood on these is so big, it just kind of weighs it down in the back. So when I saw that they were coming out with the funnel neck, obviously it doesn't have the hood. So I was like, you know what? That might solve the problem. And if you're not looking to have a hood on it anyway, if you don't use it, you don't need it. And so, had to try it, absolutely love it. They have it in four colors currently. They actually have it in the delicate mint. I think it's heathered. So they have it in this color. It's just has a heathered material to it. And yeah, I had to snag the blue because I thought it was beautiful. And people have been asking what my favorite style is now. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think I like the full zip a lot because it's so easy to get on and off right now. Like you don't have to take it over your head. And if you're someone who wears makeup a lot, I know that can be like, you worry about getting it on the jacket, but just the convenience, like I get really hot, really hot right now, just randomly. So having the convenience of the full zip is really nice, but I, I, I love all of them basically. In short, I love all of them. Sizing wise, I stick with an extra small small in these. They still fit perfect. They are an oversized hoodie. I have said this in multiple videos, ordering an extra small small made me nervous because I have not been an extra small and I don't even know how long. In most clothing brands, I'm not even a small. I'm usually between like a small and a medium. Based on their sizing chart, a size six put me into the extra small small category. I highly recommend just following their sizing chart because it doesn't fail works really well and the extra small small fits perfectly. Still oversized and I have enough room in the arms. Next we have the relaxed cropped hoodie. I snagged this and I think this is called Everglade green or emerald green. I'll have it on the screen. I've had this one for a little bit and I wasn't going to include it in this video, but I was getting a lot of questions on this and the relaxed jogger that match it. I'm actually wearing them now and I just got another pair because I love them. <laughs> but the nice thing about this one is it's a little bit cooler than some of their other sweatshirts because it's the cotton terry material rather than having like a fleece on the inside. So I don't know how well you can see that. It's more of that like terry cloth. So literally looks like a towel on the inside rather than having a fleece like this. So I feel like it's a little bit cooler. The only thing is that I know some people will probably love and other people will hate. The neckline does come up pretty high. Obviously there's no zipper to where you can like open it up and let it breathe. So if you're someone who doesn't like collars like close up around your neck or hoods really close up, you might not like this, but I thought this had a really cute fit because it's nice and long. It has the cinch at the bottom, which I always find really flattering. And it's nice because the extra length, whenever you raise your arms, you can't see your stomach. I know a lot of people really appreciate that. So go into it knowing it's the Terry material, not that like soft fleece material on the inside, just so you don't go in expecting this like super soft fuzzy, sweatshirt and you're like, oh, it's not like that. Cause it's not, but it's still really nice. And the joggers 
which you'll see here in a minute, are the same. It's that terry cloth material. So I stuck with a size six. Obviously this is an oversized fit and then it has the same cuffs on the wrist as it does on the bottom. And overall I think it's very flattering and definitely fits super true to size. Last but definitely not least in terms of tops, we have the white opal scuba oversized half zip. I already have this in the full zip because I love white opal and you just heard me say I love the full zip, but let's be honest, I love all of them. We've made that clear. When I posted the poll on Instagram asking what you wanted me to include in this try on, this had just launched and almost everyone said they wanted to see this. So you've heard me say now throughout this try on, I'm a big fan of neutrals and in general, the scubas are just so nice to pair with everything. A lot of times I just put them over a sports bra because I work from home, but other times I'll put, if I'm wearing the full zip, I'll put in a line tank underneath it and it's perfect. So I love these. I just think they're super cute, comfortable, casual. And the white opal is nice because it's not, it's not the stark white that makes you like nervous to wear out in public or around your house because you're like, I'm for sure gonna stain this the first day I wear it. Because it's more of that off-white like cream color, I feel like it's just a little bit more safe, hides dirt a little bit better. So I have probably five white opal sweatshirts now and tops and I'm not even mad about it because I love them. I wear them all the time. They match literally everything and it's great. So. Same sizing wise, I have an extra small, small fits just like the one I'm wearing now. And obviously you already saw this tried on, but I love these and they go super quick on the website. But if you follow my closet by Kel account, I constantly am on Lulu's website and posting restocks, posting new drops on that closet by Kel story. So if you're interested in seeing when new items drop, when other items restock, I feel like I always have a scuba on my story because randomly I'll see that they restocked one of the colors. So I try my best to stay on top of these because they do go really quick. Unfortunately, I obviously don't have control over that, but I at least try to help where I can. Moving on to bottoms, I included two pairs of Align pants, even though I reviewed Align pants <laughs> probably in every single video. The reason I wanted to include the 25 inch Align pant this time is because I was getting a lot of questions about if I could try on a six now that I'm pregnant and my body's changing and growing and compare it to a four. So those of you who are also pregnant and experiencing all of the fun changes that come along with it, have an idea of like, are my fours gonna fit me the whole time? Do I need to get sixes or like go up a size from where you are now? And these definitely are gonna be more comfortable as I continue to grow and my belly gets bigger because the waistband won't be as tight but my legs have stayed the same size. And the one thing with the six I noticed, I have a little bit of bunching around my hip, especially when I bend my leg. And if you've ever done a fit session, a fit session in a Lululemon store, that's one of the things they look for. You wanna be in your correct size pant. You don't wanna have a ton of extra material. We just got a puppy and, I, and she's waking up from her uh, nap in her crate. Guess what her name is? Her name's Lulu and she's so cute. No, the name is not because of Lululemon. However, it was kind of inspired by that because our three cats, I also have three cats, all their names start with the letter L. And so I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna stick with the theme. And I knew a Lucy, I knew a Luna and Lulu. We just kind of landed on it. I'm like, well, it's kind of fitting. So here we are. I think she went back to bed. Anyway, I think I am just gonna stick with my size fours during this whole pregnancy, but if you're someone who doesn't like compression, then maybe you would benefit from going up a size. I don't think you need to. I've had plenty of people tell me, and when I worked at Lululemon, had a lot of coworkers who were pregnant and they all stuck with their normal size because they just are so stretchy and it's that naked sensation right off the bat. So you have a lot of room to grow with these but I do love these graphic leggings. Thought they were super cute. I will definitely still wear these. I'm already getting to a point where I feel like I'm kind of in between a four and a six, but with aligns because they are so low compression, I always stick with fours. But that is why I wanted to include these so I could compare fours to sixes. I will keep you updated as I continue to grow, but as of right now, fours still fit me better than sixes. 
With that being said, I did buy the Align Super High Rise. Also to review, just for more coverage, I did get these in a size six because I wasn't originally planning on having those. So I was just gonna use one pair to do the comparison. Now I have two pairs of sixes, it's fine. I will still wear them. Once again, they still fit. Um, the one downfall to the Super High Rise, really the only two main differences, they're only available in the 28 inch, which I prefer the 25 because it hits me at like the perfect seven eighths length. Um, so that's my only kind of like qualm with these, but I do love the extra coverage, especially right now, kind of going back to what I was saying. If I wear the super high rise, none of my skin shows with the Align Take and with other cropped items. So I feel like I just get more coverage. Overall, love them. They still fit like an Align pant. It's that buttery soft naked sensation, which I love my all time favorite. So wanted to review these. You can kind of see how the super high rise fits me versus the regular high rise. And I think these will be great as I continue to grow and I don't want my belly button hanging out. <laughs> as I mentioned, I also got the relaxed high rise jogger to review. These feel the exact same and kind of pair really well with the relaxed cropped hoodie. I already have these in the light gray, I'm wearing them right now. I love them. I've been living in joggers since starting to actually show a little bit just because they're looser, more comfortable, and once again, low compression. I just love that. I live in joggers in general, but these, I think it is super nice comparing them to like the scuba high rise jogger. Same thing, the scuba has that fleece lining like the scuba sweatshirt does. And the relaxed high rise jogger just has that French terry material. So I don't think these are as warm. I think they're better to wear like throughout the day in the house and outside. Rather the scuba high rise jogger can get pretty hot inside if you're not somewhere really cold. So these are definitely a little bit more oversized as well. I personally like that. I think it's really flattering. And the logo is super minimal on the back of the leg, which I thought was nice. Nice and high-waisted, there's no tie. Also love that because then you don't have like too much going on in the front. If you have a top with a zipper or already with a tie or something like that, it just has the draw cord on the inside so you can adjust the tightness of the band if you need to. I forgot to mention, I got a size six in those as well because I've always been a six in joggers and they seem to still be fitting me perfectly. These next joggers were my favorite, one of my favorites prior to being pregnant and I can already tell you will definitely be one of my favorites during this pregnancy along with the Align jogger. I didn't include those in this, but the stretch high rise jogger, keyword stretch. It's the same reason I loved these so much prior to getting pregnant because they're just so comfortable. They're very lightweight. They're easy to wear day to day. You can kind of, I mean, you're not gonna like dress them up, but you can still make them look cuter. And you can do workouts in them from time to time if you want to. I wouldn't do workouts in them regularly just because I like wearing leggings personally, but they're really cute. I like wearing these around just because once again, the band is actually the new material. So it's really soft against your skin. The draw cord can come in through like go into the inside. So if you don't want it hanging out like that, but love the really deep pockets. That's one thing Lulu does really well. All of their pockets are super deep. So they're perfect for running errands. I always have everything in my pockets. I have my camera, <laughs> phone, and a huge purse. So I love these. I think the waistband is also just really flattering because it has that like cinched rouged look to it. And then obviously they are a jogger. They do have a pant version, a stretch high rise pant that you could wear to work very easily and dress them up. I personally think you could dress these up a little bit, especially the black and the green, but maybe that's just me. They're gonna continue to be a fan favorite over the next however many months. And they were a fan favorite prior to once again being pregnant. So start with a size six, they fit great. Joggers, basically everything fits very true to size for me right now still. I'm still wearing size four leggings. The only time I would see myself wearing or like purposely buying size sixes, especially after trying those on, would be like Wonder Trains, Base Pace, basically all of the higher impact like cardio running leggings that are more compressive. I would for sure need a six in now just because the waistbands are so tight on those but anything that's like an aligned pant, 
Four is gonna be uh, still my staple with those. And then joggers, I'm gonna stick with size sixes. I did want to include a couple accessories because I got a lot of questions about this. Obviously, a lot of people who follow me on YouTube and on Instagram know that I vlog a lot, AKA I have my camera with me a lot. And this is the crossbody camera bag. So I'm like, okay, well that sounds perfect. There's the back little slot. There's a bigger main pocket that I could for sure fit the camera that I'm currently recording on in like super easily and still fit my wallet. And there is a separate front compartment that's a little bit thinner to keep stuff you need like easy access to that you don't want to like dig around for. But this is really nice. It's the water repellent material kind of like could go with anything. You could dress it up. It's still pretty casual. There's no front pocket. It just has that um, very minimal Lulu logo. And then obviously it has the adjustable straps to go if you just want it like over your shoulder or if you want it to be the crossbody, you can make it longer. But I was impressed with this because I've been looking, I've tried all of their fanny packs basically. And the biggest fanny pack they have is the rest is written belt bag. That's the only one I can fit my camera in comfortably, but because it goes across your body, it's always hanging down towards the bottom and it's kind of like bottom heavy then. So I think this is going to be a great option for me. And then lastly, I've actually had this for a while. I've been saving it for this try on because ear warmers, I don't think I have like any of them. And I feel like that's something I, I never think to buy until I'm like outside shoveling and I'm like, man, or outside on a walk. I'm like, I could use some ear warmers. <laughs> so I bought them over, I bought these a little bit before I bought all the rest of the stuff for this try on. And then I figured I would save it. They have these in a couple other colors, but nice and cute has the little twist in the front and then obviously covers very nicely so you could still put your hood up and just be like extra toasty warm so i'm glad i have these because chris and i definitely want to start going on walks outside more now that i'm finally feeling better and have more energy but it's really cold it's currently snowing outside so that is going to be it for the try on hopefully you enjoyed it this was not the biggest haul I've had <laughs> for sure. I've had some massive ones, but hopefully this was a helpful winter haul and I tried some of the items that you were maybe looking for a review on, sizing tips, and I'm definitely happy with some of the newer items I tried, specifically the base pace tank top. Whether you're pregnant or not pregnant, I think it's just the perfect length for high-waisted leggings. And I love the funnel neck scuba. I think it's so cute. Once again, everything is listed and linked down below. If you have any questions, comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram. I have my main Instagram, Kaylin Yeager, and the Closet by Kel Instagram. That's where I post. I'm doing a legging challenge right now, seeing how many days I can go without re-wearing a pair of leggings. I think I'm currently on day like 130 something. It's a problem. After I'm done, I'm gonna go through and like get rid of the ones that I do not need anymore. It's hard for me to separate with, with active wear for some reason because I'm like it's my job I live in it like eventually I'll wear them and it's like no you haven't worn them in three years you probably don't need them but anyway I post all of the restocks and new drops on that page to kind of not overwhelm people on my main Instagram who maybe aren't as interested or as into Lulu as we are so check that out and I will try to keep you posted on the white opal scuba hopefully they bring it back because it is beautiful and I love it. I will see you in the next video, back to another vlog, and then there will be monthly Lululemon hauls all this year, which I'm so excited for.